The oil pump is one of the most essential parts in your engine. It's responsible for lubricating the engine while the car is running and preventing damage from different components as they interact and cause friction. Malfunctions in the oil pump are not overly common but are known to happen. Having oil pump fail can lead to serious engine damage. Understanding the symptoms of a bad oil pump are crucial to avoiding damage to your vehicle. In this video, we will talk about symptoms of a bad oil pump and how to fix it. Why do oil pumps fail? Oil pumps are heavy-duty units. They are built to last, but occasionally, they do fail. A failing oil pump will not provide the oil the engine demands. Before moving on to the symptoms of a failed oil pump, let us look at the reasons why they fail. There are a few reasons why your oil pump might malfunction. Age. Just like everything else, an oil pump has an expiry date. Similar to any other component in the engine, oil pumps go to a lot of strain as well. This will cause parts of the pump to wear out. Intense heat and high pressure take a toll on the pump. With proper maintenance, oil pumps could last 60,000 miles to 100,000 miles. But you should be expecting an oil pump failure at around 60,000 miles to 70,000 miles. Lack of maintenance. Proper maintenance is the key to ensuring your oil pump lives a long and healthy life. Every bit of oil that runs through your engine goes through the oil pump. Burnt out oil filled with dirt and debris will surely damage your pump. Most cars require an oil change at around 3,000 miles to 6,000 miles. Depending on your manufacturer's suggestion, you should get your oil changed regularly. Oil cleans your engine by dragging the dirt away from it. This is absorbed by the oil. With time, this will change the density of the oil. It eventually becomes a thick sludge. As your oil pump tries to pump this oil, the sludge will nibble on your pump. This will wear out your pump much sooner. Low oil levels. Leaks could cause your oil levels to drop. When your engine and oil pump are working on low oil levels, they are going to suffer a lot of damage. First off, when the oil levels are low, there wouldn't be enough oil to lubricate the oil pump. Then you think about the load on the pump. To circulate the little amount of oil it has, it needs to build a lot of pressure. This will shorten its lifespan. Choosing the wrong oil. Engine oils come in different types of oils. Depending on the manufacturer, engine, and climate, the type of engine oil you need to use will change. Using the oil with the wrong viscosity will damage your engine and your oil pump. Make sure to choose the right type of oil for your car before you pour it in. What are bad oil pump symptoms? As you might already know, there are numerous benefits that come with engine oil. It is a crucial component for the engine to function. No matter how much oil you refill without a functioning oil pump, it is worthless. So how do you find out when your oil pump is not functioning properly? For this, you need to know the symptoms of a failing oil pump. As long as you remember these symptoms, you should be able to identify an oil pump failure as soon as it happens, thus protecting your engine from further damage due to a failed oil pump. Low oil pressure. Low oil pressure doesn't happen when your oil is at least partially functioning. The oil pump doesn't generate the pressure as the oil goes through the engine. The pressure is generated when the size of the path the oil takes varies. Low oil pressure happens when the oil pump fails completely. If the oil pump is no longer able to pump any oil, then the sensors aren't going to pick up pressure readings. In most cars, you will get a low oil pressure warning light when this happens. Since this happens when your oil level is low, the only way to confirm that it is caused by a failed oil pump is to top off the engine oil. After you've made sure that the engine oil in your car is adequate, check the dash again for the warning light. If the light is still blinking, it would indicate that the problem is associated with the oil pump and not the quantity of oil. High oil pressure. Similar to a failed pump causing low oil pressure, a malfunctioning oil pump will result in high oil pressure. This happens when the pressure relief valve malfunctions. As mentioned earlier, when the oil pressure rises, the pressure relief valve releases some of the oil to relieve the pressure. A malfunctioning pressure relief valve will no longer be able to do this on command. Without the pressure regulated, the oil pressure will gradually rise. This will cause the check engine light to illuminate. Since this is a severe issue, chances are you will notice your check engine light blinking. This indicates that you should not continue driving. Sometimes high oil pressure can be worse than low oil pressure for the engine. This could damage the path that the engine oil circulates in. If this happens, you will start leaking oil and eventually run out of oil. Increase in engine temperature. There are three aspects in which engine temperature is regulated by the engine oil. The primary function of engine oil is to lubricate the engine. This reduces the wear that the metal components of the engine suffer, but it also reduces the friction created between these components. Friction builds up heat. With a lot of components rubbing against each other inside the engine, heat builds up quickly. By lubricating these components, the engine oil reduces the friction between them. By reducing the friction, the oil reduces the heat produced. You also have to consider that engine oil is a liquid. 
so it is part lubricant and part coolant. As the engine oil flows through the engine, it absorbs a part of the heat that is produced by the engine. The heated oil then flows back to the oil sump. Here it rests so it can cool down, so when it laps the engine again, it will be cool enough to absorb some of the heat produced by the engine again. Finally, the oil creates a layer of fluid between two metal components. Metals can effectively conduct heat, so even if one component of the engine is hot, the entire engine will heat up. By creating a layer of fluid, the engine oil slows down the transfer of heat from part to part. Without the oil pump, the engine oil cannot do any of these tasks that help to keep the engine temperature regulated. This will cause the engine to heat up even though your coolant and water pump are working fine. If your engine heats up, the engine temperature warning will illuminate. Noises from the valve train You might be wondering what exactly is a valve train. It is a unit that is also a part of the engine. It sits above the camshaft of your engine. The valve train consists of a series of push rods, seals, and valve guides. These are crucial as well to keep the engine functioning. These valves allow the air to come in so that it could be mixed fuel and then ignite. The valve train also needs lubrication, so the engine oil steps up to lubricate the valve train as well. Without a functioning oil pump, the valve train will not be lubricated. Thus, it will not function. Without proper lubrication, the hydraulic lifters, push rods, seals, and other components inside the valve train will grind against each other. Eventually, this will cause them to seize. Before it seizes, you will be able to hear the metal-on-metal -metal rubbing noises clearly. If you hear a squeaking, squealing, or grinding noise, you should inspect your oil pump. Noise from the oil pump. If you wonder whether the oil pump normally makes noise as it works, it does. But this is not a noise that you can hear. Even if you try to listen to it, you won't be able to. If you do hear noises from your oil pump, it means that it is going to fail in the near future. You should be able to hear whining noises even when your car is on idle. This is caused by the wear on the oil pump. As the gears inside the oil pump wear out, they make a whining noise as they operate. Though you might be able to repair your oil pump by replacing those gears, it is best if you replace the complete oil pump. It will not make a major difference anyway. Oil pump replacement cost. When you notice bad oil pump symptoms, it often leads to an oil pump failure. So when you notice bad oil pump symptoms, you need to start to think about oil pump replacement costs. Sometimes repair costs can get daunting. Unless you are willing to ignore the repair and scrap your car, you need to get them fixed, no matter the cost. When something like the oil pump fails, if you do not get it checked, it will lead to serious engine damage. So let us break down oil pump replacement costs and see what the final number is. Parts. The exact price of an oil pump can vary due to several factors. Mainly depends on the manufacturer and model of your car. Depending on these factors, you should expect to pay anywhere from $100 to $1,000. Performance cars and luxury cars are often on the higher end. For an average daily driver, an oil pump will cost in the neighborhood of $300. Labor. This is where oil pump replacement gets costly. Again, the model of your car will become a factor. This is because the time is taken to access the oil pump will vary. It could take upwards of 5 hours to access the oil pump sometimes. In some models, it could even take 10 hours to remove and replace the oil pump. So the labor charges really add up. Auto mechanics charge anywhere from $50 to $150 an hour. This will also affect the final cost. On average, a mechanic will charge $100 an hour. Total. As you might notice, labor charges cost much more than the actual oil pump itself. The process takes five to seven hours on average, but on some rare models with an experienced mechanic, the job could be over in about two hours. Nonetheless, you should expect to pay $500 to $700 for labor. For the parts, expect to spend $300 to $400. With that being said, the total adds up to about $1,000. According to RepairPol, the average price for an oil pump replacement is going to be between $1,142 and $1,348. These numbers are for ordinary cars and not for luxury or performance vehicles. For these types of cars, replacement costs could be as high as $3,000. To summarize what we talked about in this video, there can be many reasons why your oil pump could go bad. But as long as you maintain it properly, you should be able to protect your oil pump for a really long time. Driving without an oil pump will ruin your engine, so you should make sure not to drive without a functioning oil pump. For this, you should know the bad oil pump symptoms. Only by knowing these symptoms, you will be able to scout ahead a failing oil pump and make sure not to drive with a bad oil pump. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.